Hello, this is Annie. If you're first time watching my channel, I have been unboxing quite a lot of um, Chanel items like handbags and custom jewelries. And last time I've just unboxed um, fine jewelry. And if you have watched my video last time, I actually unboxed my first piece of fine jewelry, which is the Coco Crush. And at the end, I did mention that I will be unboxing some Hermes items that have been purchased lately. However, because it's a 22C collection, have just released it on November 12th in Hong Kong. So of course my essay had been contacted me and then we have scheduled time to meet her up. So I've got two pieces of custom jewelry and also a handbag. Well, although the box is quite big, but it's, the bag is actually not that big. And if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you won't miss out any of my future uploads. Why don't I tell you a little bit background of what had happened it? Because like um, on November 12th, my essay was being so nice. Like she wanted to schedule time with me to go into the store to check out all the new items. However, I would have been very, very busy because in Hong Kong, my kids, because I have three kids, if you have been watching my videos, there's been exams going on, so I need to study with them. So bear with me. I've been like uploading videos quite slowly these days because like I really, really need to like arrange my time really well, videotape, like doing some uploads for you guys. And I will try my best to do it more often, as I promise. Why don't I unbox this? two pieces of custom jewelry right now. Oh, here you go. This is the pair of earrings I got. Actually, I've been struggling to buy these pair or the other pair. Oh, by the way, my essay just told me that as of this month, I don't know if it's this collection or what. Every customer is only allowed to purchase two custom jewelry per month and also one handbag per month. So I need to really, really look through all the things and pick and choose which one I should pick. The quote that doesn't belong to me is actually belong to my husband account. If you have watched my previous video that I'm not very happy about it, it's because like I have been suspended of buying all the customaries until the end of the year because I've been exceed the number of pieces of purchase for 2021 already. So I only can rely on my husband to help me to purchase it. The reason why I picked this pair, I don't know if you guys have been looking at the photos, a lot of people have been buying, I can see, is a CC logo with a heart shape like a pearl heart like hanging down there. I can post a photo here. I've been struggling. I was like, I, I really like that pair of earrings, but is it somehow like looks like my 21B collection, the heart shape? I was like struggling whether I should buy it or not. And then my essay said, actually, I know this one will restock. So if you really, really miss out this chance of buying it, I'm sure it will restock and I can assure you, you can buy it. I was like, oh, okay. Then I decided to buy this one. There's actually lots of earrings I love, but like the reason why I picked this one is actually at that time, I thought of my Hermes fashion jewelry that I recently purchased. I was like missing something that is in silver color because as you have been watching my YouTube videos, you know that I really, really like to buy custom jewelries in like a champagne gold color. The reason why I buy it is because to match my new custom jewelry from Hermes and is this number five here. I know number five is the number that Chanel really, really loves. For me, it's really, really special too because I, I my family is consists of five family members, I should say. So I was like in love with this earrings when I first saw it. So why don't I try it on? So here it is. If you have watched my video previously, I have been like introducing all my custom jewelry from Chanel. I do have some silver color tone jewelry, but it's relatively smaller size. But now I'm more interested into wearing like bigger size earrings so that's the reason why I purchased this one yeah I personally like it after I purchase it I really really still missing the heart shape so hopefully I can get it next month okay why don't I unbox another piece of jewelry here actually I bought a necklace 
which is the earrings I have been describing to you guys earlier. The earrings I've been looking at it is just like this, just the CC logo on top and then the pearl heart in the middle. And this one, the necklace is actually with the gold heart at the bottom. So there's like three different like charms here. The reason why I buy this necklace, because if you have watched my previous video, I also have the heart shaped necklace from the 21B. But that one is just the heart shape there, only one pieces. But I just realized that I always, always wear this necklace. I like something like longer, the chains, the charms, I would say. The charms are like longer. So I think this one is gonna be look nice. And then the reason why I buy it, um, I think it can match up with a lot of clothes and then it looks very vintage. And this one, one good thing is there's no crystal at all. I know a lot of people buying custom jewelry are afraid of the crystal falling off, but this one, no. I think it's a good purchase. So why don't I put it on and show you guys. Here, I put it on. I really like it because like, as I just told you, I always, always wear this necklace because I like the charm is like longer and bigger so that it shows more on my clothes. Because like um, the other one, the 21B, the heart shape, is only just the heart, it's just the charm. So it's relatively short. I try to like just put on this kind of clothes. It's not very, very appealing. I don't wear it that often. So I think that one have to be like in a V-neck or like a shirt, like you can show more on like on your chest here. I think that one would match it more, it would be nicer. Or like before I wear it, it's like you can wear it like as like a choker, closer like with the CC logo like hanging there, it will be different. But yeah, I personally really, really like this one and actually can match up with the pair of earrings I've been just mentioning to you guys. But you know, for this collection, from now on, Chanel is quite hard to buy because like you have to be within one month, only two pieces of custom jewelry. But however, the 22C is very, very appealing to me because I have lots of items that I want to buy. It's like earrings, like necklaces, and also the, um, ring and also the bracelet but yeah you, you really have to pick out the best item well i shouldn't say best like your most wanted item because you only allow two pieces right i'm not sure about other countries but in hong kong it is i'm not sure about like the states or canada is it only two pieces but unfortunately hong kong is only two pieces so why don't i unbox this bag right now So here you go, this is the 20cc vanity case. As you can see, there is like the signature 20cc, the plaque here, the little plaque. Actually, this one, the vanity case, have in stock, there is another one. It's very, very similar, which I've been looking at the photos, I thought it was the same, but and when it's by side by side, I can realize it's different. You can see the separate is like a gold one, and then the other one is just like leather. And this one is made from lambskin. The other one is a caviar leather. The other one actually have a CC stitched logo down there at the bottom. Four studs there. I think somehow it looks slightly bigger to me. Like the handle is also bigger. I think this one is more, I would say more luxurious because of lambskin and less boxy. Although it's like, I know Fanny case is very boxy, but like, um, I just, I don't know. I just love this. And because I suppose this one last year, my husband did mention like to buy this one for me as our anniversary gift, but I was like hesitating. And then because I was like struggling whether I should get the Louis Vuitton, this is the Canes um, vanity case that I want to buy. But somehow, I mean, at that time there's no stock, but and I bought the Spring Street. I don't know why, what happened to me, but I still remember this one. I really, really like it. Maybe. It's like the first Chanel bag I saw, which I wanted to buy. I know this is not a hot item, but you know, sometimes like when you eye on something, you really, really miss it. Then I think you really should buy it. So this was the bag. Let me open it. So there's a strap here. You can actually like, like wear on your side or just like handheld. So why don't I try to, this is very simple. It's just like one big compartment here. And there's like, just like a small cut slot here. 
Okay, let me try to put different things in. I have my old case, my cell phone, my compact, so my lipstick, my eye drops, my sanitizer, my lip balm. Now it's winter, so we need to um, hand cream. And so my pack of tissues. There's still so much room in the back here. Also, I just put this on top or at the back, still have space. You can like put it like this or just put anything on top. There's lots of plenty of rooms, I would say. But of course, like after you put so many things, there's certain weight there. So why don't I give you some moth shots on this bag? So I purposely put on a jacket to show you guys. So this is the way you can wear it, handheld of course. Because on the top, there's like two holes here. You can actually put the strap white in there. So the bag would be less busy, like the strap is not outside. So it's nicer without the strap, I would say. And it's easier to handle the strap, to put it all inside. Of course, you can pull it out and wear it on your side. Which I, I like it. Also because this one have the leather strap on top, it will be more comfy when you wear it on your shoulder. But I think this bag, like, I think it really, really looks nice when you're doing a handheld. It's very elegant. I personally really like it. I hope you guys like it too. So here we go. The reason why I have this here beside me is this is from the 21A collection that I purchased. I actually total only have three bags in black in, from Chanel. If you have been watching my channel, you know that I really, really love pink. So I, a lot of bags I got in pink. I have this one and I have the mini square and then I have the uh, fed, small vanity case. Well, I just find this in black. This one looks very, very elegant. And somehow, seriously, lambskin is really the texture. It feels very, very luxurious. First is this one. This is even more boxier, I would say. This is in calfskin, but it's like in a shiny calfskin. I would say so far, I think it's pretty good. I, I don't see any big scratches or anything that I cannot bear with. But maybe I, I do baby my bag, so I, I find it really good. And this is really nice. Even though this bag, it doesn't have a handle, but the way you can see I set up the strap here because it's adjustable, I always handheld this bag. So that's why I'm, I'm really in love with like handheld bags. This one is also in lambskin, but yeah, I I don't find it any big issue with me right now. When you once starting using Chanel lambskin, I'm sure you'll love it. It's just the texture is really really nice. Although it's of course it's very easy, it's very prone to scratch, but you just yeah I would say if you really really love your bag, I think you should baby it right. But these ones like. If you're just like doing like occasionally or bring it back, like not, not I, I don't think these, like, these are like everyday bag. So these ones, I think if lambskin, you just give you the luxurious look, the elegant look, which we really, I really, really love. And the capacity, of course, is a lot. As you can see, although this one is boxier, like the thickness is really thick compared to this one, but like the width is like a a lot smaller which I'm okay with it and compare this one with my very small vanity case in the beige color from the 21A one is so small so tiny I think it's good for the summertime or when you're wearing like very very thin clothes when in the summertime it's okay I would say but in winter time I think like wear something bigger it will be matching with your big jacket and stuff I think these ones will be better Again, I, I like the way it's handheld, so um, it's easier. But another con about this bag, of course, is like when you open, you need to like open up the whole thing to get your things, which is not everybody like it. I know, I know this is not hot, not like like very hot item. Maybe people doesn't like to open the bag so much. Of course, compare these one, the flat bag is much easier for opening. But yeah. If I've been loving this bag since last year and I still adore it, I think I should get it. The prices of course have been in increased, it, but um, I think it's still okay for me to get it. So I got it. I just love it. So I'll enjoy using it. 
So thanks for watching again. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I hope you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future uploads. I think next time for sure I will unbox my Hermes item. So see you next time. Bye.